The Durst Taylor House was built in 1835 by the Durst family and was home to 13 different owners, ending with the Taylor family, which is how the home got its name, the Durst Taylor House. Throughout time, this was the home of many businessmen, bankers, and politicians, including Thomas J. Rusk, who was a politician and a military leader and served as Secretary of War as well as General in the Battle of San Jacinto. The home even had what they called the Stranger Room, which travelers would rent out. It was a good piece yeah. of income, and either they'd pay you with money or they'd trade goods or trade services. Sometimes they'd yeah. stay at your house for a week and they'd fix your entire fence line. Some of those jobs that travelers could do would be to tend the chicken coop, do some blacksmith work, or even cook sausage in the smoke shop. And all of these features are out the house to this day, thanks to the restoration and preservation of the home. But it was hard work. Restoration of the Durst Taylor House began in 1996 and took roughly 10 years before it was open to the public. This process took a while because this house was vacant for many years. Animals would sneak in, people would vandalize the house, and weather damaged the home as well. But that didn't stop them from completing the project. During the restoration period, the museum would go to antique shops, contact other museums, and even get citizens to donate pieces that matched the time period of the 1840s. The Durst Taylor House is the second oldest building here in Nacogdoches, which means it holds a special place in the oldest town in Texas. The museum is open from 10 to 4, Tuesday through Saturday. And if you'd like more information, you can visit the Nacogdoches City website for more information on this house and all the other historical landmarks in Nacogdoches. For East Texas Explorer, I'm Logan.